One in four students at Youngstown State University suffer from food insecurity. That means they don't always have access to good food to eat or the ability to buy it. First News reporter Amanda Smith talked to people who are trying to solve the problem. Many students at Youngstown State University can buy food with on-campus meal plans, but these cards don't cover everything. It gets close towards the end of it because I mean I like to eat, but <laughs> especially during finals week we all like our coffee. So some students load up at the one all-you-can-eat cafeteria on campus. I just eat as much as I can of one so I don't have to pay and use my own money elsewhere. The Student Government Association started this food pantry on campus. That's after learning that 25% of students don't have steady access to food. I mean, to think that one in four students in your classes might be um, hungry or might not know where their next meal is com coming from is staggering. The pantry serves more than 100 students every semester, and it's growing. So outside of just the normal canned goods that we have, we're, we just uh, secured a grant to have a refrigerator added to the area. Near YSU, the Cultivate Cafe and Marketplace started trying to draw students in by accepting university meal plans. Manager Susan Payton says it's important to remember that easy access to food causes insecurity as much as the ability to pay. Typically talking about within a mile radius of where they're located, um, having that access, I mean a mile is pretty far to walk sometimes for some people. Not all those kids have transportation, so it's very difficult to go a few miles down the road. The cafe doubles the value of food stamps students spend on fresh groceries, trying to help those food dollars stretch a little more. In Youngstown, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.